Hi everyone, this is VK from Frosty FX, and today we'll be creating in After Effects this. Okay, so you see there's a very glossy 3D text and this is not created in a Cinema 4D, 3ds Max or Element 3D, a plugin for videocopilot.net but this is all created in After Effects in around 7 minutes I just use the text and some lights that simple let's get on it Hi guys, so here we are in After Effects and or in this work area. <laughs> okay, that was very funny. So here I have uh, a text layer which is the font which is called like a Adobe by Kai which is uh, Adobe's own font you can find it like in After Effects here all the fonts you it's like in the overst one and uh, it's just a very cool font I use it all the time it's very cool so <coughs> we have to turn this 3D so this will be a really quick walkthrough and the materials I'm using I will be copying from this text layer and then going through them one by one because the creating them and making it sweet is perfect takes some time and I want to make this fast and you want to want it fast so you can make it fast right nice so here in the boxes here in 3d we see this little box if you don't have it if you have it in this mode click here on the toggle switches or hit F4 so here click on this box like this. This will not happen to you because I have made the 3D text already done. So, but I get a walk through how how long. This has no animation, but I will take you through that in just a second. So, first you want to need is here up the renderer is re on ray trace 3D, and you probably have it on classic 3D, but put it on ray traced and click OK. What ray trace does that uh, it gives you the opportunity to extrude, extrude your text and make it, give them bevels, give them materials and that's kind and that's all we're gonna need so here we have the text we can go on the little arrow and click down what we have normally you have like text and transform a text but now we get two more options we get geometry options and material options if you have a classic 3D you will have material options I think but not the geometry options and um, uh, just a small warning: this method doesn't work with uh, with uh, pictures or images or like logos. You find like a PNG file. This won't come the geometry options if you have the render on ray traced. I'm sorry. I will put a video on how to make images 3D here sometime when I figure it out. But okay, let's go to this. From the first, we want to see what we're doing. So we go to hit the letter R for rotation and here we have like X rotation, Y rotation, Z uh, rotation and the orientation we want to focus on the Y rotation and we see like here here we have the extrusion I will talk about the extrusion options I have used but I let's put it like this so we can see what we're doing okay now you see how this is extruded and how you see it, okay? So we can close close the or a rotation, go back, click down the transform, go to geometry options. And okay, now put the same settings I have here. So here we have in the bevel style you have probably a none, and then it looks like this. Put it on convex. That uh, will give your border a border which color is here. If you see here, be, this is your main color of your text, but here behind if you click it, click it again, you can change the color to like red. But I'm not going to do that because I like this color more. <coughs> okay, so when we have that, we have a convex and that uh, that means it's like the 
the bells are bubbling up like this. Concave is like moving like this, and that looks terrible. I think. I okay. We don't see. We don't see the um, difference yet, but we will see it. If you see here in the tree, the third's like the outline. You when we the concave, it like disappears. But when we get the light, you will see it very good. So on here on bevel def under the bevel style. It probably is on like 1, put it all up to 10, all up to 10, or 8, or something, it depends how you like, I like the tree, uh, or the 10. The whole bevel depth, I want it to be 100, so if you have like D, R, O, so the holes there inside, and P, so you can manage how big bevel there is, you see. I have it always on 100, so it, it's as big as the text itself. And when you manage, if you have it, it 100% and, you, and you're managing the bevel depth, it will scale up and down for itself automatically, and that's good. Okay, on extrusion depth, this is where the 3D comes. It's, I think it's like this. It starts, it's like zero, and it looks like this. Then just pump it up as much as you want. You can make it how big you want, but I usually go for like 50%. Just type here 50. <laughs> That's pretty good. So that is the geometry options. Now starts the thing we want. So but first let's make a small animation. So here in Y rotation we see it when it rotates it kind of like moves if you see at the bottom of the tree, it kind of moves on place. And if you want to know why, when you put it like sideways, you see this arrow. This is our anchor point. And it should be right here in the middle. So let's hit Y on our keyboard, or just click here up on the pan behind tool. Let's go for the blue arrow with the Z. And let's drag it around about in the middle. By the way, if you want your text in the middle, enable snapping here up and move your text in the middle and it will snap automatically into place. And that works also with the pan behind tool if it's like fully rotated, not like sideways but fully rotated, like no. So let's go back to rotation, go to first frame and let's go 0 here and 0 here. Then we can take our text. And you get it right in the middle. I am not enabled snapping or it doesn't work for some odd reason. Okay, so here in Y rotation we hit the stopwatch. Bring it all the back to the last frame. And here you see two kind of numbers. You see like this uh, 0x plus 0 comma 0 grades. So the 0 comma 0 grades you can there manage how many like how much it if you want a precise but I'm not gonna do that go to the last keyframe and select it again go from the 0x this is pretty interesting if you, I hit 2 now it's 2x so that means in these keyframes it will rotate exactly to rotation that's cool and if you see when we start it starts like immediately to rotate and if you want it looks more professional you can use the easy ease so I marked my keyframes and press F9 but I don't want to stop the recording so I just go from right clicking keyframe assistant and easy ease or you can probably use the F9 because that's a shortcut now you see it starts smoothly starts to rotate it rotates the two, la uh, two rounds, and then when it comes to the end, it, you, it slows down perfectly into place. Perfect. Now we have our animation, but now we have to make it look awesome. So what we can do is, yeah, take that rotation on. Let's right click on this area here and click new light. Here happens all the magic. This makes your 3D text awesome. So go from light type to spotlight, 
keep the incension 300%, cone level 90, cone feather 50, cast shadows, yes, shadow darkness, shadow diffusion, all the previous, I click OK. Look, look what happened to your text. If I toggle this off on and off, you can see the difference. So what we're gonna do, we can take this a little further away, more like in the top right corner, and this, you see this little aim here, with the line, this is where the light is like aiming, and you can like choose where it's aiming at. I usually have it like in the middle about, snapped on place, and look, when we start to rotate the text, you can see how cool this looks. Shine and uh, all this. That's cool, but let's make a new light. And this one is gonna be a parallel light. So it's, it's like a very straight line from the left to right light. And we keep the intention 302. And this makes the uh, text a lot lighter. So we get to more light left. Take the aim and put it like there we can tweak it how we want like that that should look good if you see like which is very dark text and at some point it gets very light that can be good you can move your light further away sorry or aim in another like so not so light or double click on the light and mess with the intensity 263 and this looks uh, a lot better now we can actually make it this a lot better <coughs> okay so I go back to 3d text go to, uh, I go to my 3d go to material options uh, and I copy it so now when I go to 3d and hit Control V. I get all the materials I want. <coughs> but now I go through them so you can see everything I have here. So now make everything I do if you want this to look similar. So okay, this is totally after the cast shadow. You can put it on. So your text is start to cast shadows from the letters itself. Looks good, it's good, but if you have not the strongest computer out there, it increases the render time a lot. So, I just keep it like this. <coughs> Actually, I put it on. That looks, it can look good. So, and then I, my light transmission is on 100%. Except shadows is on on. Except lights is on. Appears in reflections is on. My ambient is 64%. My diffuse is at 26%. My specular intensity is in 100%. My specular shininess in is one on and 100%. My metal is on 89%. My reflection intensity is on 100%. The sharpness intensity is on uh, 0%, but I can actually put it up to 100. Yes, I think I have it. And the rest you can leave it like that. And you should have something like this now let's just close this up hit on your number keypad the zero or the zero and ins on the right side of your number keypad to make a RAM preview and let this RAM preview just a moment actually when I look at this rendering the shadows doesn't look that bad it looks like they have a some kind of dimensional space between them and that's kind of cool so now it should have rendered a look look how beautiful this looks look how professional this looks and now you have created this without any third-party plugins nothing costs not well the software do but yeah so very professional use it how you any want if you're interested I have uh, this project file in the description downloadable from Mediafire and check out our website jgstudios247.webs.com jgstudios247 is our main filmmaking channel I have all the links in down in the description check it out enjoy making this or download this 
have very fun and hey subscribe to my channel and yeah see you in the next one